Hello, I'm David Hunter, and I'm proud to be the CEO of Mary Wade Home for 32 years. Mary Wade has a rich tradition of meeting the changing needs of our community since 1866, over 147 years, right here on the same corner in Fairhaven, Connecticut. Last year, our $11 million expansion allowed us to increase the capacity in our skilled nursing home to 94 accommodations. We can accommodate 60 clients in our adult day center, and we have 45 rooms in our affordable assisted living community here on the same campus. As a nonprofit organization, of course, the residents are the heart and soul of our campus. And we are proud to have over 200 hardworking employees working together to serve the mission of Mary Wade. This year, our circle of care has expanded to include short-term rehabilitation services. We're happy to share the experiences of the past year with you today that include entertainment throughout the year, our family fun concert, golf tournament, and of course, our wine dinner. phase when she was in the adult daycare and making that transition then to the assisted and then the next transition it was just such a smooth yeah. process my biggest joy sometimes just coming and sitting in the park out here this area and, and just thinking of what a it's like a little oasis very a good experience very good experience um, has made me want to make my own reservation for my time <laughs> I'm happy here I can lay down at night and sleep and be peaceful. I, my blood pressure is now down. <laughs> it was sky high. <laughs> but with my new living conditions, it's settled down and I'm good to go. I live with my daughter in Wallingford. They had a woman come at the home and they don't like to, us to be alone. So I come here and I love it. We do drawing, we talk to one another. To me, they're all, all beautiful people, you know. I tell them the place is nice, the people are wonderful, they're all good. I enjoy it very much. Sold my car, my kids didn't want me to drive anymore, so they win. My, my wife is here for the long term. I uh, use uh, Mary Way transportation for the transportation from my house to here and back. Also, if I make an appointment with a doctor, they're very good. That way they take me to the doctor and then come and get me. If the transportation services at Mary Way didn't exist, uh, I would uh, have to have one of my children take me here and then another, the other one to pick me up daily. It would be a burden for the children because they both have good jobs and they both work hard and it's tough for them to take time off from work. And so at, some, at times I'd take a taxi because I didn't want to disturb them. Uh, my name is Paul Gillespie. Uh, I'm the uh, transportation uh, community van driver and medical driver. I love the people here. 
Um, you're dealing with an elder population and it's, it's very rewarding. Uh, I really enjoy it. When people comment about our Mary Wade Transportation uh, medical program, they say, you're on time. That's the first thing they say. The timeliness of the uh, service is important both on the pickup and on the return ride. Our fleet has been turned over the last uh, three or four years uh, to newer vehicles as we've expanded our services. So with the savings, the gasoline, as you know, at f around $4 a gallon, you're going to operate much more efficiently and hopefully we can put those monies back in our programs and provide more rides. Mary Wade and its board and its staff care deeply about the well-being of the residents, the clients, the families, and the community. Together we are meeting the needs of aging adults and their families during challenging times. With your support, we'll be able to purchase two new vans that will allow us to continue to provide over 3,000 medical and weekend transportation trips to individuals in the greater New Haven community. We thank you for your support and we look forward to partnering with you that will allow Mary Wade Home to continue to be the stabilizing force in our community.